Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it is going to be my birthday in just a few days. I'm gonna be turning 22 on May 2nd. And last year when I was about to turn 21, I filmed a video of 21 books I want to read while I'm 21. And the goal for today is to break down that list and see if I read all slash any of them. I feel like so much has changed in the past year. My content has changed so much. I have grown and changed and matured so much in the past year. I'm filming on a real camera for this video as opposed to my phone, so that's an upgrade. But anyway, for my birthday, I want to break down this list of books I was supposed to have read by today. Let's see how I did. All right, so starting off, the first book in the video was a Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. Starting off strong, I did read this in September 2021. Did not cry. It was certainly a time though. It was a little bit traumatic, to be honest. Um, very long. It took me a couple weeks to finish this one. And it was a lot, but I'm glad I read it. I'm glad I checked it off the list. And I'm glad that I started off strong with the first book in the video being a red one. Let's see if I can continue my streak. Next up, we have Ducks Newburyport by Lucy Ellman. Uh, I did not read this one. <laughs> this was the one that my fiance was yelling at me about, not really, but encouraging me very, very aggressively to read before this date. And guess who didn't read it? Yeah, this is a 1000 page stream of consciousness novel that has wall to wall text and basically no like punctuation or end of sentences or anything. It looks like a lot. Um, it is a book that I want to read eventually, but it is going to take a lot of mental uh, stamina to get through it. And I don't think I'm at the place where I want to embark on that journey yet. So have not read Ducks Newburyport. Next up, we have Conversations with Friends by Sally Rooney. Um, I read Normal People a couple years ago and did like it. It wasn't a favorite, but I did enjoy it. And my best friend got conversations with friends from me as well as the matching edition of Normal People for my birthday in 2020, I think. Um, I did not read this one, sorry to say. We did not get around to it. This is a book that we wanted to do for like a, a buddy read situation and we just haven't gotten around to it. Um, as time goes on, I get less and less intrigued by it, to be honest. I think it's a little further away from what I currently like to read. So not sure how I'm gonna feel about this one, but it is something that I do wanna read eventually, but did not read in 2021 slash 2022. Unfortunate. So that's one book I read and two books that I did not read. Oh boy. Next we have two books from the vintage classics collection that I said I wanted to read. The first one is Her Land by Charlotte Perkins Gilman. I didn't read this one. Oopsie. Yeah, no, I didn't read this. I got the audiobook out from Libby, I think maybe twice in 2021 slash 2022. Did not end up listening to it. Unfortunate. Um, it is a book that I am still very interested in reading. But again, the more time that goes by after I initially pick up a book or want to read a book, the less excited I am about it, the less that I'm likely to pick it up. So yeah, I've had this one for like two years, at least two or three years, and I haven't picked it up. Will this be the year that I do it? Maybe. Oh my gosh, yay, a book that I've read. Um, this one is The Collector by John Fowles. Luckily, I'm making this video now because I just finished this book yesterday. So technically, I can check it off the list. I just read this and I annotated it uh, pretty thoroughly. I liked the first half a lot, did not really love the second half, so I gave it like three stars. Unfortunate that it wasn't as good as I had anticipated, but it is a classic and I'm not really a fan of classics in a lot of cases. So I don't know why I expected it to be different. Maybe because it was more of like a thriller mystery situation. So overall, a little bit of a disappointment, not really what I hoped it would be, but at least I read it so I can check it off the list. All right, next up I have actually another vintage classic that I don't own anymore because I didn't like it. And that is The Awakening by Kate Chopin. But I did read it, so that is a success. That's all that was required of this video. Not that I liked it, but that I read it. I found this book to be a little bit boring and just generally uninteresting because of the time period. I don't really like period kind of pieces, period drama movies, 
books that take place in the 1800s, early 1900s. Just not really my jam anymore, to be honest. I read a lot of those kind of books when I was a kid and didn't love them. So unfortunately, I didn't like this one, but at least I read it. So a goal of mine was to read one Shirley Jackson book a year because I have a Shirley Jackson collection and I haven't read all of her books. So the one that I planned on reading while I was 21 was The Bird's Nest by Shirley Jackson. Obviously, I don't know why I'm repeating that. Yeah, I didn't read this. I know I read The Haunting of Hill House. I think that was completed in October. So I did read a Shirley Jackson, but I didn't read The Bird's Nest. So disappointment. I realized that I'm just flying through these books and I just don't have a lot to say about them to be honest. I feel like very ashamed that I haven't read all of these, but I did read 100 books last year and my goal is to read 100 books this year. So it's not like I'm not reading, I'm just not reading the books that I say I'm going to read, which is typical of me. All right, in the video, I said that I wanted to do one reread at least in 2021 slash 2022, and that was The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. Did not reread this. I did do several rereads in March for my rereadathon, but I did not reread this one. Don't know why, I just, found it daunting to pick it up, I guess, because it is heavy subject matter wise. It's just a little bit daunting in general. Um, I did love this book when I read it in 2020, I think, and I really do want to read it soon, but I didn't get to it. So next up, I have a bunch of translated books that I said I wanted to read. It was definitely a priority in my video and in my year to read more translated work. And I am proud to say that I have read a lot more translated books the year that I was 21, but these are the ones that I said I was going to read in the video and I've read half. So starting off on a little bit of a bad note, we have Sweet Bean Paste by Durian Sokigawa. This is a Japanese translated book. Looks really cute, didn't read it. Yeah, I just didn't get to this one. Um, definitely do wanna read it relatively soon, but who knows when that's gonna be. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna kid myself or you by saying that I'm gonna read it immediately, but it is what it is. Moving right along, we have Convenience Store Woman by Sayaka Murata. I did read this one. Yay. I read this one a while ago. I did like it. I didn't love it. It was like a 3.5, maybe a four star. I forget exactly what I rated it, but it wasn't a favorite. I did find it to be very, very interesting and something that is worth studying and looking into and sitting with but it wasn't like the most fun I've ever had with a book. But at least I read it, it's accomplished, it's achieved. Then we have a Icelandic translated book that I didn't get to either, and that is The Blue Fox by Sion. Definitely was super, super intrigued by this when I picked it up, heard a lot of good things about it, never picked it up. This is actually one that I do wanna read relatively soon. It's a pretty short one, it looks like a relatively easy read, but the pages are like not totally full. Um, text is pretty big. So I think it'll be a very, very easy read and something to fly through. And I am looking forward to the subject matter. I'm looking forward to reading more Icelandic translated stuff because the only one I've read is Magma, it's back there, by Thora Hjöleifstalter, which I loved. I loved the style of the writing, I just loved it. So looking forward to reading more Icelandic stuff. Um, just didn't get to this one in the past year. And the last unread translated book is The Hole by He Young Pyun. This is a thriller slash horror book that was translated from the Korean. And yeah, didn't read it. Don't have much else to say about it. Just didn't get to it. It was on my Wit Month, Women in Translation Month TBR for August. Again, didn't get to it. Wish I did, but I did not. And then, yay, finally, we have two Korean translated books that I did read. The Vegetarian by Han Kang and Kim Ji Young Born 1982 by Cho Nam Ju. I really, really liked both of these. I think they were both four star reads. I did really, really love these. The covers kind of look really nice together. Also, both of these covers are just magnificent, love them. I'm really glad that I read these both in the last year. They were both very impactful and stayed with me and I still think about them, so love these. All right, these ones are just sort of uh, general fiction books that I, spoiler alert, did not read any of. Um, the first one is Creature by Amina Kane. I bought this one after I read Indelicacy by the same author and loved it and it 
just hasn't gotten read. It wasn't priority. It just kind of hides on my shelf because it's pretty small and it gets sort of tucked away and I just don't think about it. So I didn't get to this one. And I'm not gonna lie to you and say that it's priority when it's not. Don't know when I'm gonna read it, but know that I will read it eventually and I still am interested in it just not right now. So next up on the list is Nothing to See Here by Kevin Wilson. Did not get to this one, though I thought about reading it in November because uh, Allison Pages on YouTube and Instagram was reading it for her Bloom and Readathon, and I thought it would be fun to read the same books, but again, I just didn't get to it. I read so many books in November for the Readathon, just didn't get a chance to pick this one up, but I am still very excited to read this. And I think it's gonna be a very fun, more light read. So maybe I'll read this in the summer. Hot summer vibes, maybe it'll be good, I don't know. And then finally, we have the only book of the month book that I ever got, and it is Transcendent Kingdom by Yajiasi. I basically got this from book of the month and figured maybe when I finish this one, I would look into doing book of the month again and just haven't ever picked it up. Um, I really was interested in this one going into it, like I am with every book that I purchase, honestly. But yeah, it just kind of didn't stay on top priority and I never got around to it. So unfortunately, did not get read, but hopefully soon. I really, really loved her other book, Homegoing. So definitely still interested in reading that. Damn, I'm not doing so good. This is unfortunate. And the final three books are all nonfiction reads. We have Girls and Sex by Peggy Orenstein, which I did read in October of 2021 and did really, really like. Very informative, gave it four stars. Really glad I read this one. And then I have Choice Words, Writers on Abortion, compiled by Annie Finch. Did not get around to this one, unfortunately. I still definitely want to read it by the end of 2022, but it just didn't get done the year I was 21. But very, very interested in the information in this book and looking forward to reading it soon. And then finally, we have Packing My Library by Alberto Manuel. Did not read this. The reason I wanted to read this is because I thought I was going to be moving the year that I was 21, and that did not happen. But anyway, I was planning on reading this one when I was packing my own library, and that just didn't happen, so I didn't read this one. But hopefully, when I actually am packing up my library, I will get to read this one, so yeah. So amidst the chaotic energy of this video, I forgot to mention the last book that I was supposed to talk about, which was The Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones, which is a horror book that I did not read because my friend read it and said that it was way too gory for me. And she has a very good idea of my tolerance for gore and things of the like and knew that I would not be able to handle it. So I didn't read it. I just donated it. I gave it to her. So yeah, this was a very short, disorganized, all over the place video, but I just wanted to have something fun to post right before my birthday. Yeah, I didn't do too good. Um, I would say that I read less than half of the 21 books that I wanted to read in the past year, but that's okay. Cause like I said, I read lots of books. I had lots of fun and what's a TBR? What's the point of a TBR? Why do we even have them? They never hold up, <laughs> they never work. But anyway, my camera's about to die. So thank you for watching this very, very chaotic video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think I should read in the next year. If you have any recommendations, I'd love to hear them. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.